is that so it shows some slight warming, uh, some more than others, but still the amount of warming is much, much less than what was anticipated from climate models, and that's what I've been showing uh, uh, demonstrating in various venues, including at the Congress, uh, a congressional hearing last May, uh, demonstrated that the models are significantly above in their temperature projection for where we actually are right now. So if you go back 36 years to 1979, run the models, they're all, they all show lots of warming. The real world shows very little warming. But what we do know, the two largest impacts on temperature are the El Ninos in the Pacific, as well as volcanic eruptions, which uh, shade the Earth when they put the dust and smoke in the stratosphere. So once you account for both of those, uh, there's not a whole lot of warming in the planet. The conclusion we have reached is that the world, the global climate, is not very sensitive to carbon dioxide. And that can, be, that can occur if the climate responds in its many facets to release heat when you add the heat from carbon dioxide. So carbon dioxide does allow more heat to be retained in the system, the climate system, but the climate system also has many ways to allow an increased release of heat to space. And so we think that's what's going on that there are feedbacks that are allowing that heat to escape and not accumulate the way models have indicated.